On tonight's Cinephile Game Night, it's a very special one. I'm your host, Connor O'Donnell, from the Film Stage and the B-Side Podcast. And tonight's very special episode, uh, it, we have some really great, great, great guests. And if you're new to Cinephile Game Night, here's how the show works. We're going to be playing three Cinephile games, filmography, movie actor, and Six Degrees. The winner of each round gets a point. And at the end of the night, the player with the most points will be declared the winner and receive a lifetime of bragging rights and very temporary internet glory. <laughs> Our guests tonight, uh, film critic and historian, author of many books, including the 151 movie, best movies you've never seen and Leonard Malton's movie encyclopedia, as well as the co-host of the Malton on Movies podcast, it's Leonard Malton. Hi, everybody. Mr. Malton, it is an honor. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Uh, I, uh, I feel lucky to live in a house uh, that has two stories so I don't have to walk into the four walls of an apartment. And <laughs> so I, you know, I'm breathing. I'm here. I've got food. I've got my family with me. And, Do you uh, see how, how low on that list we <laughs> I've got two stories. I've got things and <laughs> objects and food and also other people living. <laughs> got a uh, uh, family and two dogs who are part of the family. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. And that's what counts. And on that list, of course, is our other guest, uh, the co-host of the Malton on Movies podcast, Jesse Malton. Jesse, thank you so much for joining us as well. You are so welcome. I'm grateful to have two stories. <laughs> so I need to see my family unless I really want to. No, uh, we, we joke that we meet uh, in Middle Earth for food. <laughs> my husband and I are over here. My mom and my dad are over here. And then when it's time, we just all meet in the middle and eat. But that's normal, well, I think, for, for a Jew family, but also a Jew family in quarantine. Food is <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're happy to have you. It's really an honor. Thank you so much for taking the time. Um, also with us tonight, as usual, we have Film Stage co-founders, Dan Mecca and Jordan Routh. How are you guys doing? Doing Just well. Happy to be here. It's like reiterating what Connor said, such an honor. Obviously, I think, I think all, all three of us here, uh, or four of us, Corey included, all of us, we grew up, I feel like, with those books and the, the reviews. And we were talking about, before we started going live, two and a half star reviews and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Loving that. And, so yeah, it's just an honor to have you both here. It's really great. Thank you. And uh, also with us, uh, as per usual, we have cinephile creator, Corey Everett. Hello, from the floor tonight, having Wi-Fi trouble? <laughs> Not that it matters. <laughs> you look great. The couch is 12 feet tall or I am on the floor. It is the second <laughs> You I look wanna, wonderful, you Corey. Guys, you guys all look very dapper tonight. Yes. And you dressed up and I dressed down. It's uh, a nice, that's a sort of a nice dichotomy, a nice reversal. Okay. Okay. We're, paying our, we're paying our respect. And Indeed. we give Jesse a heads up, so. <laughs> yeah, you didn't tell me, I just didn't tell you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we felt we, it, it, we felt it was a special occasion. We didn't want to underdress for it. So I think it's a, a sign of true mastery. Like you said, by dressing down, you're, you're really kind of emphatically putting, emphatically putting a point on it, which I think is, which is impressive. <laughs> Uh, tonight, uh, as usual, we're here to raise money for a good cause, and uh, tonight's good cause is the Save Larry Edmonds Bookshop Fund, and here to tell us a little, bit, a little bit more about that is our special guest, Leonard Malton. Well, Larry Edmonds Bookshop is an institution in Hollywood. It's not just a store. It opened in 1938. And uh, it has been the mecca for anybody who collects books film books, movie stills, posters, memorabilia of all sorts. And uh, I visited it on my, I grew up in the East Coast and I visited it on my first trip here when I was 18 years old uh, in 1969. And, uh, you know, was awestruck. 
and uh, and uh, I've never lost my uh, sense of wonder uh, at the the fact that they exist and that they service uh, so many film buffs, film students, uh, film teachers, and uh, cinephiles mm -hmm. to to use the proper term tonight. And uh, and, and Jeff, the owner, gives every single bit of himself. Mm -hmm. Uh, to this shop. It's his birthday as well. So as we celebrate him and celebrate Larry Edmonds, we have to say happy birthday, Jeff. Um, but it's, uh, it's his baby. He is so devoted and dedicated. He helps us whenever we're going to do a book signing. He's there for us. He was at Malton Fest, our first film festival. Uh, and, if, and if you go to festivals or events oh, yeah. or lectures around town, chances are you've seen Jeff with his folding table. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, helping facilitate author signings. Whether it's at the American Cinematheque, the Egyptian, uh, working with TCM, Turner Classic Movies, and their or, or film festival. Writer's Block, you know, you all, name those, it. all those places. He's a, a wonderful man, and he runs a, a store that is vital. And, you know, as, as, books, as bookstores in general close, which is really depressing, um, knowing that we all can do something to give back it means a lot. Mm -hmm. And we're excited that you guys uh, were willing to let us do this. And we appreciate it so much. No, Great, not, not a problem. We're happy to have you. And even if you're not uh, in LA, uh, you may have seen the tweet this afternoon, which is basically, uh, this was one of the few locations that Quentin Tarantino restored for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Right. 1969 uh, guys uh, for the film. So it all it already has a place in kind of movie history in addition to Hollywood history. So right. um, it really is an institution, and we really appreciate it uh, if you did donate if you were watching. And the four of us uh, did uh, chip in earlier today and are excited. It's, it's to, just uh, great. Like Thanks, guys. And uh, you, viewer out there on the internet, can find out more info on the Save Larry Edmonds Bookshop Fund uh, and links to donate at uh, cinephilegame.com slash game night live. And if you do donate, let us know. Doesn't matter if it's a dollar or five bucks. Send us a screenshot with the hashtag Cinephile Game Night, and you will be entered for a chance to win the ultimate Cinephile prize pack, which includes a copy of Cinephile, a card game, a copy of the Cinephile LA Stories expansion pack, uh, Criterion's Leave Her to Heaven on Blu-ray, Jordan Peele's Pieces of Us book, Best Movie Year Ever, signed by author Brian Raftery, movie and food vouchers from the Alamo Draft House, uh, The Making of the Irishman book, De Niro and De Palma box set, and a ton more that we're going to be sort of rattling off as we go through uh, throughout the night. And our dog, Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to join us whenever we're filming anything live, which is why his collar is off, so he's not jingling. But we will, we will donate Hercules. If you, uh, you, you, if, would, you wouldn't do that to anybody, would you? No. <laughs> He's the best. Don't you dare. No, People I might hold you to that. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> we are, in fact, going to be collecting more prizes all season long. Um, so no matter which fund you donate to, whether it's tonight's fund or any of the others, um, you'll be entered to win the whole lot of prizes. Wow. Um, so you can let us know that you donated either at the film stage on Twitter or at Cinephile Game on Twitter. Awesome. Um, and without further ado, we're gonna start the games. We're gonna do what we came here to do. Uh, here to explain the rules of our first game is Cinephile creator and head bartender at the Overlook Hotel, Corey <laughs> Everett. And Musso and Franks, as, as right. I discovered. <laughs> you, you look so much like you worked there. That's so true. Very true. much this look, okay. Uh, it's the LA show. So. Uh, the first game uh, we're going to be playing tonight is called Filmography. Uh, so the object of the game is to name more films by one actor than your opponent. So actors with longer filmographies like Sam Jackson would mean longer rounds, while actors with fewer appearances like David Bowie would be shorter rounds. Uh, so how this game works is one player will draw a card from the deck, read the name of the actor and the movie on the card, and then taking turns, each subsequent player will name another movie uh, in which that actor appeared. Uh, when a player can't name another film or names a film that has already been named, uh, the next player can name a movie and knock the previous player out. We continue going around until only two players remain. Uh, when one of the two remaining players cannot name another film, the other player must name one more 
uh, to win the round and get the point. If neither player can name another film, uh, no points are given. The round is a draw. The last thing we should discuss is what counts as an eligible film. Uh, eligible films are narrative films in which the actor appears that has been released. So what does that mean? That means that films that don't come out for another six months uh, don't count. It means that uh, a cameo would count, but an animated film or a voiceover appearance uh, would not. So for Alec Baldwin, Boss Baby and the Royal Tenenbaums would not be eligible, uh, but his cameo in The Adventures of Pluto Nash would be. We've also kind of decided that um, uh, motion capture and, and um, rotos rotoscoping are on board because the actor was there, you know, being filmed. Um, and those are also eligible. So Andy Serkis and the Scanner Darkly, those are all on, on the table. Uh, do you guys have any questions before we begin the round? No, I have an apology because <laughs> yeah. people assume that since I edited a reference book for so many years, but I must be really good at movie trivia games, and I'm not. <laughs> so I, so if, if, you know, if you asked us to be on this show for that reason, I apologize. I mean, I'm pretty good at it. You are. So. <laughs> and you guys are playing together, so yeah, it's really you're, great. Yeah, you're really right? fine. Yeah, yeah, all all is, I hope Jesse will shore up my weakness. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love it. Um, and with that, I guess we'll get the round started. So Connor, uh, the, the order will be uh, Connor, then myself, uh, then the Maltons, then Jordan, and then Dan. And we'll keep going around like that. So Connor, uh, with that, do you want to draw a card yeah. and uh, actor uh, who will begin the round? I sure do, good buddy. And our first filmography is Reese Witherspoon. Okay. And I will start us off with the movie on the card, which is Election. One of our favorites. Um, and that goes to you, Corey. We'll go to me, and I will say uh, Inherent Vice, which goes to the Maltons. Sweet Home Alabama. Yes, indeed. Oh, to Jordan. Right, Jordan. Oh, um, Downsizing? Is she in there? She no? In there? Am I out? out the, Am out I out the first try? I was trying to go. So, guys, <laughs> wait. Wait, guys. No. So, Leonard and Jesse, I just want to take a minute. This happens every game. Jordan, I try to go hard. Jordan, who I started a very, uh, 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 you know, a relatively well-read web film website with, every game at the beginning, he, like, overreaches and gets out. I love it. Downside. <laughs> That's fine. It was Jordan. an Alexander Payne film. I know. Yeah, right. It, I, I, get, I get where you're going with it. He made the leap. He you failed. think it's Kristen Wiig, maybe, or something? Yeah, yeah I think so. Um, all right. So, <laughs> all right, Jordan is out. It's Jordan. Good. Jordan has embarrassed himself. My sister is texting me right now because she's embarrassed for you, Jordan. Um, just kidding. Uh, Reese Witherspoon movie. I'll say Legally Blonde. Legally Blonde. Uh, and that goes back to me. I will say Legally Blonde 2, Red, White, and Blonde. Got it. Okay, that goes to me. I will say um, Wild mm -hmm. uh, to the Maltons. Uh, Man on the Moon. Yeah. Early one. Yeah. Uh, to Dan. Yes. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, I'll say another semi-early one. She made a movie called Twilight with Paul Newman and Gene Hackman. Mm. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I'll, I'll keep it early as well. I will say uh, Freeway. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, no. Did um, I take that from you, Leonard? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> then I will say... Um, I will say fear. Yo, man, yeah. Yeah, we're going. We're just, we're all early Reese right now. All right, all right. Leonard. Wahlberg beating the crap out of himself. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Already. Yeah. I expect better from you, sir. Uh, you should. <laughs> Jesse, do you have do you have one you want to offer? I'm This is what happens. We all just go blank, right? Yeah, yeah, no, it ha it's. I did it first, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, and don't be embarrassed because it is one of those like the spotlight burns bright. Like as yeah. soon as you have to think of a movie, you forget what. Definitely movies are. not because my dinner is just off camera. <laughs> Definitely not why I can't remember another Reese with it. There are so many. Why? I will. I, I just, a, just as a soft round one hint, we last game we were talking about a, a certain action comedy she made with two other 
relatively. Oh God! But yeah, it, 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 Tom oh, Hardy. Oh, oh, I got yep. it. Tom Hardy. This means war. Yeah. yeah there you go. Um, yeah, we were kind of weird. We were, I appreciate it. Yeah, we were digging into that one on the last episode a little bit. All right, so <laughs> it goes to me, right? So okay, Reese. I will say she made that movie, and the shout out to my buddy Gavin if he's watching. Uh, Vanity Fair, the Mira, oh, yeah. Mira Nair movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that goes to me. She is in. Uh, she is in a wrinkle in time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will say walk the line. Okay. Uh, water for elephants. Yeah. Yes. yes. Of course. Okay. Now I am drawing a blank. Let me think. Give myself a count here. Reese Witherspoon, actress, talented. Very good. Um, uh, there's so many, right? Can you use her name in a sentence? Yes. What <laughs> is Reese Witherspoon? Um, <laughs> the etymology. Of <laughs> yes. Can I, of Witherspoon. Um, I tick, 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 tick. I think I will. I'm blanking. I saw him out. I'm out. Okay. To Connor. Okay. All right. Um, I will say, did anybody say Cruel Intentions? No. 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 Nah. Oh. <laughs> Somebody wishes he said Cruel Intentions. Oh, I love I kind of love it a little bit. Uh, um, to me, I, she's in Four Christmases, right? With Vince Vaughn? Yes, yes. Yep. Oh, no, yes. Uh, to the Moultons. I will put, you got anything? No. I will bow out then. <laughs> Okay. Right. And That's it's me fine. and you, Corey. Yep. Corey and Connor. Uh, I will mention uh, this is one I believe came up when we talked about Jake Gyllenhaal, a movie called Rendition. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. I'm pulling up her filmography on my phone. I'm yeah. about to be mad. I'm blanking out. I was more mad than you, Dan, just so you know. Mallory Mecca right now is who's a big Reese Witherspoon fan is like you how could you get out she's like texting me these I, my mind was vaguely thinking Laura Dern who was briefly in that film yeah she's in wild too yeah. I know I know um I'm blanking on there's a 90s movie that's like under the something moon and no I'm no blanking on it yes he said it already yeah, yeah. You, oh really yeah it was, you're it was out, just, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm out. Connor, you got one more? Connor. I do. Um, I she was in uh, a movie that was part of the McConaissance, a movie called Mud. Ah, oh, how could, that's yeah. one of his favorite, one of our favorite how, movies. How could I have forgotten? Yeah, well, and she's good. Yeah. It's like a small role, but she's good in oh, it. She's really good at it. Yeah. All right, and with that, Connor wins the round. Dan, can you tell us what else did we miss on yeah, IMDb? So a couple we missed. Um, we got a lot of the early ones. Um. But we missed The Good Lie, which is such a good film. We missed The Good Lie, right? We missed Overnight Delivery with her and Paul Rudd. Who could forget? Right. right. Um, Pleasantville. Pleasantville. I remembered that and yeah. forgot it in the time. Okay, of- this is a funny one. She's in, I forgot this. She's in American Psycho. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yes, You're that's right. right. Yeah, she's his girlfriend, girlfriend or fiance, fiance or something. Yeah. yeah, she's in Little Nicky, which, okay. Um, the Importance of Being Earnest. Uh, fear, did we say? No. Oh, that looks so fear. good. Oh, just like heaven. Mark Ruffalo. Uh, right. Veteran did so good. And then other than that, uh, oh, we 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 didn't uh, Connor B side. We didn't say how do you know? Oh right, yeah, the James oh, Earl movie. But yeah. other than that, we got a lot. We didn't say hot pursuit, but you know whatever. Okay. All we got right. a lot. We did okay. People are only a little bit screaming at us. Uh, and with that, so Connor wins the first round. Why don't we do one more filmography? Uh, Connor, do you want to draw Listen, another? Real call? quick, Corey. Sure. I just want to remind yeah, let, let's let's remind people why why we're here uh, for yeah, the so Save Larry Edmonds Bookshop Fund. Yep, Save Larry Edmonds Bookshop Fund. So, um, like Corey and Connor said before, go to cinephilegamecom slash game night live, and you will be taken to a donate page where you can donate, learn more about the fund about the bookshop uh, when you donate if you donate let us know on social at the film stage or at cinephile game just you know show us a photo of the donation let us know that you've done it hashtag cinephile game nights and you will be in the running for that incredibly large 
amount of cool film stuff from all of our yeah. past and future guests. So, which, which also includes uh, my personal copy of Little Women on Blu-ray. So Woo! there you go. Take it from me, people. <laughs> Little Women. There you go. Uh, okay, Connor, why don't you draw and we'll do one more filmography. Sure. All right. Our next filmography is Ooh. Simon Pegg. Oh, man. And I will start us with the film on the card, which is Shaun of the Dead. That feels like a hard one. It is a hard one. Okay, I will just go ahead and say Hot Fuzz. Uh, it's the Maltons. Mission Impossible 4? Yeah. 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 Ghost Protocol. Uh, the we... World's End. Okay. I was going to say, should I'm we... not going to get out this time. <laughs> yeah, Jordan's in, baby. He's up through one. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say uh, Mission Impossible 3. Yes. Because he has like one scene in that, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. Um, that goes to me. I'll just keep it going. I will say Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. And I will say Mission Impossible Fallout. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's all of them that he's in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How yeah. to Lose Friends and Alienate People. Oh, right. Remember directed that movie? By, directed by our friend Bob Whitey. Robert Hi. Whitey. Wow. Um, Star that's Trek? Like Megan Fox and Jeff Bridges, and right? Yep. He's wow. yeah. Jordan, that's correct, though. I heard Star you. Trek? Yeah. Star Trek. Trek. Star Trek. Every, every answer, I'm like ner terribly nervous now. <laughs> no, yeah, he's, he's... I will... I... I, all right, here, let me try to not say the sequel. Uh, I'm going to say, what was the one that David Schwimmer, Run, Fat Boy, Run? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love that film. Yes, Run, Fat Boy, Run. Film. There you go. Was that Tanny Newton? I believe so. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yes. Um, it goes to me. I will say the sequel that Dan did not want to mention, uh, Star Trek Into Darkness. And I'll do the third one, Star Trek Beyond. <laughs> Jordan, or, sorry. No, no, not yet. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, uh, Paul. Uh, right. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, I'm going to say one because I think it counts. The Adventures of Tintin. Yeah, motion partially capture. motion capture. <laughs> okay. Was he in that? Yeah. 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 He yeah. Um, and Nick Frost, I believe. Oh, yep. I, didn't, I, didn't, I knew Nick Frost was. Yeah, they're like. Oh, bumbling. right. They're like the bumbling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is it me? Uh, Dan, yeah. 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 Okay, huh? Simon Pegg. Now, now we get to the rest. <laughs> Hard now, right? I, we had a feeling it was gonna. Okay, he made a movie that was the last movie Terry Jones made, I think, with Kate yeah. Beckinsale. What was it called? Oh no. It was called that movie that Simon Pegg and Kate, Kate Beckinsale. <laughs> Wait, so okay. That was the working time. I'm gonna guess. No one's out, I guess, but maybe. I don't know. Um. Is it Hector in the Search for Happiness? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes that's wow. it. Good job. Good, Good job. Thank you. Uh, back, back to Connor. Um, it goes to me. Uh, he was in a film, I believe, called A Fantastic Fear of Everything. Yes, that was yes. the last one. Uh, uh, that was the one I had. <laughs> yeah, that might be the one I was thinking about. Um, I think I got him right. Whatever, yeah. And then I will say, I think it's uh, Land of the Dead. He had the cameo as a zombie in the fourth uh, George Romero uh, film. Sure. Yeah. We're going to take you at your word. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not going to uh, watch that film to find out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, George um, Romero. Okay. Uh, so we're going no, to. No, but he doesn't Paul. do scary movies. Oh, uh, okay. Scary. I don't. What's, do you have another one? What about, is there early one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Peter yeah. Chelson's film. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's Peter Chelson, right? That was him, right? What do you think, guys? I don't know, guys. This is really hard. <laughs> <laughs> that looks right. delicious. All right, I'm, I'm also okay. out as well. Jordan's you guys out. are out. If you're out, I'm out. Yeah, I mean, so okay, so so Leonard and Jess are out. Jordan's out. I I don't know if I can stay in either. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. Uh, is it going to be Corey and Connor again? I feel like I have to prevent this from happening. I, <laughs> I don't have any more right now. If you're wondering. Uh, hang on, let me try to think. Hang on. Uh, is he in? Um. Oh, I'm gonna. We said oh. all of the Edgar Wright ones, right? 
Yep. My, my husband just texted me one more. Oh. Good one. I won't use it because we've, we've backed out, but. Oh. Uh, I feel like there's like a, he has like a smaller I hate, roller. I hate to, I hate to, I, it'll, it'll be a rematch. I'm out. It'll be Connor and Corey again. Um, now I'm looking oh, it up. Yeah. Oof. No, I, I, got, I got I got nothing. Yeah, me neither. But you can I toss don't. it to Corey, and if Corey can guess it, Corey, I'll give him yeah, a hand. Give me, give me a hint, and I can win. Video game. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh uh, yes. Oh um. B -b 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 Ready Player One. That's right. Yeah. Oh. oh. Corey Hus wins. Husband's Walton's with the assist. They already guessed Run Fat Boy Run Honey, but yeah. With I was trying to think too. The Molten assist. The Force Awakens too. Oh, he's like dresses right, up. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. He's the. Uh, he's is like, he actually in that though, or is that? He, I, think I believe he's, so. He's the guy who gives yeah, the food. Uh, the food. Credit. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not credited as a voice, so I think it's a real. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Um, so he's like in the rubber suit or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So Dan, uh, just remind us who we're playing for, and then we're going to move on to the second game of the night. Yep. Before our next game, just a friendly reminder: we are playing to save Larry Edmonds' book. Shop bookstore bookshop to uh tonight and to get more info cinephilegame.com slash game night live find out more about the fund and you by donating will enroll yourself to win an amazingly large amount of film gifts courtesy of our past and future and present guests and um thank you so much and then just a reminder twitter at the film stage, at Cinephile Game. Let us know you donated. Hashtag Cinephile Game Night. And thank you so, so much. My yeah. dad just said I'm, Scott Pilgrim. I think he is in there. I is, he was, is he in it? Yeah. Does yeah. he have a... Scott, do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> what year? I don't see it on his IMDb. I feel like I he has a cameo. Uh, I feel like which would make sense, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because yeah, Edgar wouldn't pass up an opportunity to throw them in there right? so. yeah, right. <laughs> no. um okay and with that so we're going to move on to the second game of the night uh it's a game called movie actor so uh the object of the game like filmography is to be the last player standing uh as with the last game uh one player will draw a card from the deck uh but in this case they will just read the movie on the card so in this case you would just say uh step brothers and then the next player would name an actor uh from the film step brothers they can, but do not have to name the actor on the card. So you could say Will Ferrell. You could also say John C. Riley. So let's say you say Will Ferrell, uh, and then the next player must name a different Will Ferrell movie. So they would say Anchorman. The next player must name a different actor from that film, and so on. Uh, the biggest difference with this game is if a player is out and cannot name a film or actor, the next player will draw a new card to begin another round minus the players who have been cast out. Uh, do you have any questions about this game before we get started? I don't want to be cast out. I don't mind listening to <laughs> but I don't want to be cast out. <laughs> It'll be quick, we promise. Okay. Uh, and with that, uh, because- Quick and painless. You're not going to be you. cast out, Leonard. We're just going to give you two and a half stars. <laughs> I hear you. Touche. Uh, and with that, uh, I will start the next round, thanks to the uh, assist from the Maltons last time. So I'm going to uh, read the movie on this card. Uh, which is one called uh, Clute, and the Maltons can name any actor from that film, including who's on the card if they wish. Um, I'll name, so I have to tell you the actor I'm naming, right? Yeah. 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 I'm naming her co star in Clute, Donald Sutherland. Okay. In MASH. Oh, you, you can say, say just that. The and then the next player will name a film that Donald Sutherland oh, yeah. Um, so I will say, but I know what uh, you can say, I'll say, don't look now. There you go. Uh, oh, that's me. Cool. Okay. Don't look now. So who is his co-star? Don't look now. It was Julie Christie. It was. Yes. To uh, and that goes to me. Uh -oh. Um, oh, hmm. come on, dude. There's Get a lot of ways out. I can be out here. Yeah. I mean, I'd, no, I'll keep it. Bro. No, I'll, no, no! I'll Come say on, give a good one. Get him <laughs> out. No, it's fine. I'll uh, I'll just say Doctor Zhivago. Okay, I'll say Omar Sharif, and that goes to the Maltons. A uh, funny girl. Hmm? Nice. Oh, Dude, um, which I haven't. Don't seen. offend me. Like, 
Really? I mean, don't offend yeah. me. Who's the I'm titular more... funny girl? I always get it confused with funny face because it's not it's not Audrey Hepburn. It's, it's not, not. You're right. It's another yep. very yep. talented yep. actress. She's very good. Uh, oh awesome. God. Um, it's gonna be bad. All right, let's so see. Jordan, see. if you get this wrong, we're gonna. He got just, it wrong. He's wrong. Gonna he's, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, gonna get it wrong. Scrambling. Look at him. He's the whole he's website. Fine. All right, funny girl. Funny girl. This this also came up in an episode before. Where I got this exact same thing, and I got it wrong. All right. <laughs> All right, stop, stop. Um, all right. Um, you're so out. I'm out. Susan, Susan, oh, Susan come on, No, I'm out. I'm out. No, Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm out. Okay, <laughs> so with that, Jordan is out, and Dan will draw a new card. I'll draw a card. Okay. I'm drawing a card here. To read the movie. Here we go. All right. So the movie is Blood Simple. So that goes to Connor. That goes to me. Uh, I will say uh, M. Emmett Walsh. Ooh. Yeah. Because. The man who's been in everything, but you can't really place it. Exactly. Him. Totally know his face and blanking on every other thing he's done. Um, I think I'm out. That's it. Really? Yeah. Oh, I feel God. like you could guess any random movie and you might be lucky. <laughs> Corey, there's a movie I know you love that he's in for sure. I know the old sheriff, right? And um, he is great in Blood Simple. Yeah, yeah. Think um, he's in a film, he's in a film that came up in the Reese Witherspoon round. <laughs> Jesus! Shout out to our buddy Nate Washburn who's watching and is an old movie lover who I think now officially has no respect for Jordan for getting funny. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm going to I'm gonna watch it. I I'm love watching it next. Like I have to. Uh, right, and cool. with that, uh, so I'm out and we're going to go uh, to the Malton. So I'll draw a card for you guys and you can read the uh, movie on the card, uh, which is a movie called Days and Confused. All right. So that so goes Dan, to Dan. And that goes to Dan to name an actor from that yes. film. Days and Confused to me. Um, and it's me. Is it me? Me? The Maltins and Connor? Yep. You, Connor, okay. the Maltins, yes. So okay. this will go to Connor. So you can try to get him out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll just say, I will say Ben Affleck. Mm. So Ben Affleck to Connor. And this goes to the Maltins. Um, oh, what's the name of that movie? Uh, I'm going to say Phantoms. Oh God! Ruthless. Oh no! Sorry, I had that to do it. I had to do. No, he doesn't like horror movies. Embarrassing, Connor. I can't believe you. <laughs> that I'm Connor sorry. even knows. That Connor even knows what Phantoms is. Well, that's yeah. How dare! All right, I'll draw another card. It's me and Connor. Now I have to. Now I have to get Connor out because for just, revenge. For revenge. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, all right, the movie is Theater of Blood. Theater of Blood. Theater of Blood. Yeah, th what did I say? I said theater? Did theater I say that? Theater, sorry. Right. Theater of Blood. Yeah. Theater. Uh, and that goes to me, and I will say Vincent Price. Okay, I will say uh, Edward Scissorhands. And I will say... Uh, Trying not to corner myself here. Um, Thinking two moves ahead. Yeah, I I'll just say Johnny Depp. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna try to get you out. I'm gonna say Arizona Dream. And and get me out. You did. I uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's it. All right. Honor that, has been defended. Who else is in? Who else is in that? That's, a, that's one of Jerry Lewis's least known movies. Ooh, oh, see, now that I know that, that's a great one to have in the back pocket for sure. Yeah, the back. Well, if you uh, want obscure, I'll sit you in a room with my dad and his friends. <laughs> <laughs> Not well, did you, did you, do you, are you a fan of Arizona Dream? Do you, do you remember, like, do you remember liking it or not? Yeah, like it, it's the young Johnny Depp and Faye Dunaway, right? I think it's something like that. Yeah, I don't. It's a very strange movie. No, it's an odd movie, but it's not an uninteresting movie. It's a two and a half star movie. Hey, <laughs> a nice try. 
You know what it sounds like, Dan? <laughs> Look at how proud he is. It sounds like a B-side. It does sound like a B-side. Yeah. All right, so before we, Corey, you want to do one more movie yeah, actor? Yeah, we'll do one more movie actor, but. All right, so just a quick reminder, cinephilegame.com slash game night live. Larry Edmonds Bookshop, that's who we're playing for tonight. Go to the website you see that I'm holding up to find out more, to donate. Let us know at the film stage at cinephile game that you've donated, and you will be eligible to win an incredibly, amazingly, incredibly large, I've said it twice because it's that incredible, amount of film <laughs> things, courtesy of our past and future guests. And um, – yeah, check out check that out, Larry. I mean, like we were talking about before, the bookshop is an LA staple, and uh, we're honored to be playing for it tonight. So, back to you, Corey. Yeah, great. So, uh, Dan, since you won the last round, oh, right. yes. you draw a card. <laughs> yep, thank you. <laughs> and uh, do, we'll we'll do one more movie actor before moving on to the final game of the night. Okay, this is interesting. All right, so the movie, a lot of people in this movie is the Grand Budapest Hotel. A lot of a lot of people. A lot of people. Uh -oh. To Connor. I could say. <laughs> Go for it. Possible, bro. Uh, I, only because I don't remember what his actual name turned out to be. No, no, I'm, no, no, wait, I'm gonna say it right. Cause <laughs> no, <laughs> don't say it. It's not your turn. No. no. Oh, well, but you're not, Connor's not gonna say this. No, right. no, no, it's fine. Uh, I will say, um, it's Grand Budapest, right? I will say F. Murray Abraham. Yeah. And I will say uh, Amadeus uh, to the Moltons. Who do you want to use? Uh, I will say Jeffrey Jones. Yes, to Jordan. Oh, oh Jordan. I right. <laughs> He's another I'm getting, one of those I'm actors, getting Jay. You know, you know his you know, I know his face. I'm, yeah. I know. Jordan is getting Malton, and I love I'm getting Malton every round. This is not going good. All right. Um, oh, boy. I don't oh, even know where to start. He's in a very popular 80s, 80s movie. 80s staple several of yeah. them yes yes um very back to, the, back to the future nope no. that's the only one he wasn't it's like, <laughs> uh beetlejuice ferris bueller's day off etc cetera, etc cetera. okay yeah. dan throw another card jordan south so i'm looking at the i'm looking at the stock for the film stage it's plummeting right now <laughs> if Just, by stock um, you mean twitter followers right exactly yeah yeah all right so okay oh this is a cool movie all right the movie is streets of fire uh, uh, which which I've never seen, so I'll say the name on the card. I will say Willem Dafoe. Okay, to me, um, I will say um, I will say uh, the Life Aquatic with Steve Zizou to the Maltons. You too. Uh, uh, you know what? <laughs> can we not bring Jordan back so that I can say Bill Murray? <laughs> I, no, I deserve to be out. I'm just, I'm just gonna sit in my, sh I'm gonna sit in my shame. <laughs> All right. So Bill Murray, I'm gonna try to get Connor out here. So Bill Murray made a movie that I believe was directed by very, very accomplished producer Art Linson called "Where the Buffalo Roam." I, I knew you were gonna say that one. Ugh. Which I yeah, and I I don't know who else is in it uh, off the top well of my head. So, so I am I am out. I got mecca'd. <laughs> yeah. join, join it's, a, it's, a, it's a ruthless game movie actor game. <laughs> so, i think it's i think it's peter boyle is in it because he's playing I, um i believe you're uh, right i think it is peter boyle because he's playing um oh, right. thompson yes yes yeah okay so uh connor is out uh, i will draw a card and i believe it's myself the maltons and dan uh still in for movie actor yes so the movie um is one called uh, The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai Across the Eighth Dimension. Uh, you can, but don't have to use the actor on the card. Joel Gray. Oh, Oops. man. Oh. <laughs> yes. Okay, Joel Gray. This is why I, we created this game right here. I will, right. Say, uh, I will say Cabaret. Okay, uh, to me, I will say uh, Liza Minnelli to the Maltons. Um. Gene Hackman. Right, right. Um, oh, wait, no. A movie that Liza Minnelli's in. Oh, oh sorry, so, in. sorry, 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 sorry. Lucky Lady. Yes, okay. Uh, I think I'm going to be out. Lucky Lady. I think I'm out. I don't know. I don't, I, I, that's not on my, uh, I have not watched it. I'm out. 
Is that the Gene Hackman or is it a different one? That was the that was the one I had in mind, unless my brain okay. has gone. No, dead. no, okay. So so it, now right. it's Corey. So it's it's myself and the Maltons. Uh, I will uh, draw the card because I'm. I think we all I think we all know who we're rooting for. <laughs> I think. Okay. Um, so the movie that we're going to start with um, is one called Gloria. Mm -hmm. uh, to the Maltons to name an actor uh, or actress from that film. Okay. Uh, Jenna Rollins. Yes. Uh, to me, and I will say um, The Notebook. Mm -hmm. And now you have to not Back to you guys. Out. Okay. Uh, uh, James Garner. Yeah. To me, uh, Maverick. Oh, the movie. Yeah. It's a cameo, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah well, a little more. It's like a supporting role. He's in it. Yeah. Maverick. Jodie Foster. To me, um, Taxi Driver. Uh, Robert De Niro. Um. Is there a way to like make flames come up at the bottom of this? <laughs> this, is always, this is always the best part of the hour when there's like an epic movie actor. Yeah. Shooter. I'm seeing the flames right now, if that helps. I don't know if anyone else is. Um, Robert De Niro, to me, I will say uh, Meet the Parents. Ben Stiller. To me, um, I will say Reality Bites. No, you didn't say heavyweights. You're out. <laughs> <laughs> That's your answer. Heavyweights, so good. All right, reality bites. So reality bites to Maltons. Oh, oh, oh uh, Ethan Hawke. Uh huh. Ethan Hawke. Yes. Um, to me, I will say um, first reformed. Huh. <laughs> I like that film. I know you do. I keep do. There is a notable. I'm trying to think of a good hint. Um, <laughs> a, notable, a notable person in the entertainment field. <laughs> ah, yes. Well, an actress of sorts. Yeah. Yeah, she's a hard person to do a hint for, actually, right? Oh, that too. Oh, yeah, I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking, was thinking of the thinking other of, person. Jordan was thinking well, of somebody else. Well, Trader's movie. I know who wrote and directed it, but yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. The cast. Um, the, I'm trying to think of. No. Yeah, the, the actress is a hard, it's a hard hit. I'm back with that and the actor. The, uh, think, go to church, you know? Oh, the, the other guy. <laughs> yeah, he's hard. He has yeah, some kind of a, a, a famous entertainer. Oh yeah, right. Is in it. <laughs> All right, um, Corey. What do you think? Okay. What do you guys think, Leonard and Jesse? <laughs> no, I'm bagging it. Yeah. That's it. You're bagging right. it. Uh, right. Right, that's it. I was thinking that's of and Amanda Seyfried is in it. Oh, uh, right? Cedric, Cedric the Entertainer. Also. Oh, oh right, right. right. Oh. Well, what's his? He doesn't. And use Philip. Him. Yeah. What's oh yeah. No, he gets credited not as Cedric the Entertainer. It's his real name. His real, you know, his. Yeah. Human. All right. Corey. <laughs> Corey, that was a good one. Corey's in the lead here. Well okay, I've never won my own game, just for the record. We've done this <laughs> since the quarantine started, and so this is uh, unusual. Uh, Dan, uh, just to remind you uh, who we're playing for, uh, playing yeah. for the uh, Larry Edmonds Bookshop, which is in LA. It's an institution. Uh, go to cinephilegame.com slash game night live. There's just a little button right there where you can donate. It's a dollar, five dollars. Just let us know um, uh, at Cinefile Game or at the film stage, and you'll be entered to win this grand prize pack that we're sort of collecting all season long with lots of cool stuff. Jordan, made Jeff, some of that. Yeah. Jeff, the owner, has had uh, many of the books signed. Um, when he does do a signing, he'll have, as bookstores do, we'll have him sign the rest. He is shipping them out. He's announced that uh, a little bit ago. If you, you can still buy nice. books from him, he will give it to you. Yes, it's nice, it's nice to have uh, an autographed books, autographed yeah. autobiographies and awesome. movie books. Yep. So he's got a, yeah. a supply of them. Um, all Good. that, and it's his birthday today. So right. yeah. <laughs> once again, happy birthday, Jeff. Happy yeah. Birthday, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Uh, um, for those for those who are too young or have short memories, Lucky Lady was a 
an extraordinarily <laughs> unsuccessful movie that starred <laughs> Burt Reynolds when he was at the height of his movie stardom, Liza Minnelli and Gene Hackman. And it was directed by the great Stanley Donnan. Oh, wow. Um, and, uh, and it died a dog's death. <laughs> 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 was it late 60s early 70s when... mid 70s mid 70s okay wow i have so to i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you 100 percent. i'm watching that tonight now because <laughs> <laughs> it's coming up uh dan will text you after and let you know what yes he okay. hey guys so, uh, I'll, I'll tweet i'll jesse i'll tweet you i'll be like hey lucky lady <laughs> great um, so with that, we're going to play the final game of the night. We'll play a couple rounds of this, and after that, we'll go back to uh, one more round of one of the first two games. So the final game of the night is called Six Degrees. Uh, if you've ever played the Kevin Bacon game, it's a little bit like that. So the object of the game is to connect two actors through the films in which they've appeared. Uh, so you must connect the two actors in six moves or less, uh, and the lower number of degrees, the better. So for example, if you had uh, Joaquin Phoenix and Winona Ryder, you would say Joaquin Phoenix was in the village with Sigourney Weaver, who was in Alien Resurrection with Winona Ryder, and that would count as two degrees. Uh, so what we're going to do is two players will each draw one card, uh, read aloud the name of the actor on the card, and the first person who can connect those actors uh, through their movies will say, I've got it, we'll explain it, and as long as it's within six, they will get the point for the round. Uh, if more than one player has it at the same time, it'll be the player who has it in the shortest number of connections. Do you have any questions about this game before we get started? Nope. Okay, great. Uh, and with that, Connor and Jordan, do you each want to draw one card? Sure, and, sure. Uh, for the first six degrees. Our first degree, Killian Murphy. Murphy. Bill Paxton. Hmm. I think they call this dead air. <laughs> this is this is, this is no, what this we're is TV because everyone that's watching is also trying to solve it. Right. Dead air. It's called dead in the water. Uh, <laughs> I'm so uh, so frozen on Killian Murphy in, in uh, Peaky Blinders. <laughs> I don't remember movies. Uh, movies. Oh, I just saw the. Man, this is hard. This okay. is tough, <laughs> guys. I'm like, I'm. It's well, there tough. are two actors who've, who've been in a lot, but it feels like very. Yeah. Know. All right. I'm gonna try this. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go for it. Go for it. Killian Murphy is in Dunkirk. Yes. Okay. Colin Firth is also in Dunkirk. Yes. Correct. Yes. 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 Okay. You're welcome. Colin Firth is also in Mamma Mia. Yep. Uh, I believe in you. Hang on. Uh, 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 We're trying to get my mom's over there now. We're trying to get from Killian. The whole family. Let me go. We need every, all the help we can get. All right. We're getting from Killian Murphy to Bill Paxton. Six degrees. Wait, second. So I think I have it, but Leonard, <laughs> we, we should walk through this together because you teed me up. Yes. Okay. All right, so so uh, he's in Mamma Mia, which has a very large cast. Yes. Um, Surely one of them has been in a movie with Bill Paxton. I'm, I'm trying to get to Titanic. Okay. That's one going for Bill Paxton. I, I, okay. Oh, I, I have it then with Titanic if we need to. Very quickly. Go ahead. Go. Uh, Killian Murphy is in Inception, right? With Leonardo DiCaprio and Titanic with Bill Paxton. Hey! There you oh, go. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Right. So Jordan, stop I, on Jordan, guys. Leave I needed that. I know. Yeah, I was going, Leonard. I was trying to follow your thread, and I got to, and I don't know if this would have been too many degrees, but I got to Meryl Streep yep. in Mamma Mia, who's yep. in Postcards from the Edge. Yeah. Um, with uh, Shirley MacLaine, <laughs> right? 
who's in Evening Star. Evening Star with Bill Paxton. <laughs> oh, which I think, which I think would have been six. Uh, but it might be seven degrees. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. So here's your, so just real quick, just for the point scoring of it all, I'm making I'm gonna make this call. We're giving a point to Jordan and a point to the mall. <laughs> yeah. So everybody, I just want to say everybody's won so far, which is like wow. Yeah. That's the first time that's ever happened. I think that's the first time it's ever happened. Yeah. Um I See, was we're, thinking we're not competitive people by nature. We we <laughs> would prefer the conversation. Yes. <laughs> it's, no, it's, friendly. Nice. it's nice. Nice. Um, I was thinking Meryl Streep to Tom Cruise and Lions for Lambs in oh. True Lies with Bill Paxton. Oh, so okay. only once, only once you got me to Mamma Mia did those occur to me. So um, with <laughs> that, why don't um, said that. we'll do another uh, six degrees? Dan and myself will each draw one card, uh, and we'll do another one. All right, hang on. All right. Okay, uh, <laughs> this is an two. actor. Okay. Named Robert so De Niro. <laughs> mine's going to be harder. Okay, so De Niro 2, Tessa, Tessa Thompson. Thompson. Oh. De Niro, De Niro. Oh, De okay. Uh, what's the name of the film that De Niro and Stallone made? Uh, the silly film that came out. Red it's Grudge Match. With boxers. Grudge, Grudge, Grudge Match. Grudge Match, yeah. Grudge Match, okay. Uh, uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, you got yeah. it. De Niro to Stallone. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, to Grudge Creed. Match. To Tessa to, Thompson. To Tessa Thompson. That's right. Yeah, nice. It it two it. Threes. Oh. That was good. That was short. Um, so I think the game's tied up then. I have two. The Maltons have two. Is yeah. that right? So what we're going to do, we're going to play one final round of either filmography or movie actor. And because you guys are our guests, why don't you pick uh, which game do you want to play? What do you want? Either one. You pick. Filmography. Okay, there you have it. Um, and because you guys uh, were the winners, uh, we will draw and begin with you, uh, Dan. One last time. Uh, tonight we've been playing. I have our pack. Oh, oh, you guys oh, you draw. Have... Yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. Real quick. While Jesse draws, cinephilegame.com/slash game night live to for to find out more about the bookshop, to donate and let us know on social at yeah. the stage at cinephile game and you could win that incredibly large prize pack what's up jordan i was gonna say no just a few more items of the prize pack because yeah. we we kind of kept it short at the beginning um there is the marriage story book that our gracious guest drew mcqueenie gave us uh peter jackson's king Kong production diaries that ann thompson gave us um alonzo duraldi's book have yourself a movie little christmas uh monica castillo um is donating rotten movies we love called classics underrated gems and films so bad they're good um, and the flop house uh, people are giving us a poster and some pins and stickers. So a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Well, I should certainly donate a copy of uh, my. Uh, a any book. You yeah. can name one. Yeah. <laughs> you pick <laughs> this book, which is called Hooked on Hollywood. There you go. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Great. If awesome. you could sign it, that'd be even better. And no, we'll I can no, sign it. No I, signing. What's no. more? I <laughs> <laughs> only, only at Larry. Uh, and and with that. It. We can hold it until you have a winner, and then he can actually sign it for the winner. Yeah, nice. absolutely. Thank you. Sounds perfect. Um, and with that, why don't you guys draw, and we'll do the final round of filmography. All right, we've got Nicole Kidman, Moulin Rouge. All Nicole right. Okay, so we're doing the Nicole Kidman round. Uh, starts with Moulin Rouge for the Maltons. It goes to Jordan. All right, uh, The Killing of a Sacred Deer. Not right. downsizing. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, goes to Dan. All right, so okay, so we've said Moulin Rouge, we said Killing of a Sacred Deer. I will say, um, I will say the others. Oh, that's the mm. one I like. I like that film. Okay. Yeah, good Connor. movie. Uh, to me, I will say Days of Thunder. Mm -hmm. Um, I will say uh, Eyes Wide Shut, holiday classic. <laughs> uh, to the Maltons, BMX Bandits. Yes. Ooh, good God. job. That's a good um, oh. I will say uh, Birth. Mm. Wow, yes, Birth. Damn. That movie. Um, I will say around that time, Fur, an imaginary portrait of Diane Arbus. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Damn it. That was my back pocket one, Dan. 
Um, I did not know the subtitle though. I only in knew. which Robert Downey Jr. is like uh, covered in hair, right? Like I think. Yeah. Is it RDJ? Yeah, I believe yeah. so. Yeah. Um. Okay. Back to me. Um. I will say to die for. Ooh, nice. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good movie. <laughs> it's a great movie. I will say uh, Far and Away. I love that movie. Uh, the Hours. Yeah. Nice. Um, right. I will say The Beguiled. Ah. Oh, man, she's made a lot of movies. Um, I will say, you know what I'll say? This is a random one. Um, she cameos, or she's in it for briefly. She was in an Adam Sandler movie called Just Go With It. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Her and Dave Matthews are a couple, I believe. Weird. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, it happened. Uh, Cold Mountain. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I will say um, Australia, the Baz Luhrmann. Yep. Mm-hmm. Aquaman. Yes. yes. Oh, nice. Um, I will say um, Boy Erased. Mm. Oh, yeah. Right. Boy Erased. To me. Oof. Okay. I'm like, I'm, I'm being bad about not thinking about these movies. <laughs> I'm getting caught off guard every time. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> Nicole Kidman. So many movies. Um, all right. I don't know. Let me think. Let's see if I bow first here. Um, oh, 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 Batman Forever. Uh, <laughs> it only counts if you remember her character name, Dan. Chase Meridian, dude. That's <laughs> Dr. Chase Meridian to you. Um, I will, I will follow that up with, um, hmm. um, Stoker. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. Stoker. Uh, I will say um, the Stepford Wives remake. Yes. Uh, uh, the- Bewitched. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Well, of- I always get those two movies confused because I yeah. feel like they came out at the exact same time. And neither mm-hmm. one should have. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well said. I will say um, Portrait of a Lady, not on fire. Not <laughs> just. Just the portrait, right? The portrait of a lady. Um, I, I, I. There's a million more. Um, oh, oh, oh! I just thought of one. Okay, she, uh, a movie I like a lot. A movie called Dead Calm. Yes. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, it goes to me. Um, uh. Is she in uh, she in the interpreter? Yeah, yeah. Sydney <laughs> Pollack movie. Yep. In yeah. the same vein, I don't want to get out. The Peacemaker. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Birthday girl. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, oh, I just love I, that birthday girl got brought up on this show. You are welcome. The funny, that insane movie, Birthday Girl, Ben Chaplin. I will say Paddington. Oh, right. 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 Um, okay, I've been circling the drain, and I think I'm officially flushed. I'm going to say I'm out. Okay. I only have one more. I Yeah, I think I only have one more as well. Uh, Dan mentioned how insane Birthday Girl was. I will mention another insane movie called The Paperboy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I will say uh, Rabbit Hole. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a... On yeah. Cameron Mitchell. She's great. Huh? She got nominated for that, didn't she? Yeah. Oh, wow. There are two... Okay, sorry. Now I'm looking at... I'm out. <laughs> There's a couple of newer ones. Uh, all right. She's so prolific. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's who's, up, who's up right now? Walton. The Malton. Yes. I, I will just say as a general hint, there's been a couple of newer ones that we haven't mentioned. That's the one I know is one of the. <laughs> it was not last year's. It was four months ago. One from one from last year that was makeup was a whole, was a big 
uh, part of it. Oh, right. Which is weird, right? Like it's yeah. a red- oh god, this could I, we didn't like it, or I yeah. didn't like it. It's a uh, uh, the, the the Harvey Weinstein, the Fox, the one with Fox bombshell. Bombshell. Yeah. Yeah. Just, isn't it so funny? Bombshell, like it got a lot of, pre- but it really is kind of one of those movies that's it, it came out recently and it feels like it's it yeah. doesn't yeah. exist. It, it's like a movie that doesn't exist. My mom and I, I think, uh, part because we'd watched the other series that they did, but also Russell just because we followed it. Right. The movie didn't do it for me. Right, because you used to watch the with Russell Crowe, right, Frank? Yeah, so that was kind of tough. Yeah, right, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do. I think the last one I have, uh, Destroyer. Mm. Well, right? that, that's more recent. There, there Karen Kusa, that's what Karen she was. There, yeah. Um. So that goes back to Karen. Karen. And now, yep. Um. Damn. Um, yeah. Corey said Australia, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, Can you think of a Nicole Kidman movie? Oh, Connor. Uh oh, Connor. I'll take my headphones out for that one. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there a bunch, Dan, that we're missing? Like a ton? Um. No hints, not on Connor's. No hints, no, no hints. hints. Yeah, guys, I, th- I know that there there's like Hate one her. in my brain that I'm trying to think of that I'm I'll not say gonna... this. I'll say this about her. Of course, because she, like we said, yeah. no, no, no hints, no hints, Corey. Yeah. No hints. She's been in a lot of movies, so I'm, we will miss some for sure. Oh, like, I do have one. I do have one. I just thought of one. Okay. Uh, she yeah, I feel like a... you're already out, but okay, go ahead. She was in a film called Practical Magic. Oh, hey. I can't. Yes. All right. Thank God you didn't take mine, which is the last one I've had. Of the title. What? Who's it? It's the Southern Gothic. That's one. is it. Is it that? Is it? Is it not that? I I said that. I think I said that one. If that's, if it's fairly recent. But go. Corey, Corey, Corey goes first. My turn. I'm so Corey. I'm gonna say I. This is the last one I've had for a while. The Invasion with Daniel Craig, which is oh, like yeah. the fourth Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Uh, yeah. Remake, and that goes to the Maltons. So what? Gothic? No. Southern, uh, Southern, like Southern Gothic. Southern Gothic. Is it directed? Yeah. Is it? Was it from 2017? Maybe Ish. a year or two earlier than that. Oh, okay. Okay. She she played she played a, a slutty Southern uh, uh, Which? woman. No. <laughs> oh. Well, let me practical magic. Let me just it's say not, this. That's what this, I want. Yeah. Let me just say this. She was nominated for a supporting Oscar in a movie that I feel like never gets talked about that came out only five years ago. Just, wow. It, it might not even be a good hint because it's it get, got a lot of coverage when it came out, but um, anyway, you can think of it. And then, no. uh, oh, that movie. <laughs> God damn, why? Yeah, that movie. Um, Kidding Connor. Yeah. There's, yeah, there, I mean, there's a few things in here, yeah. The one, the Southern Gothic one that, I mean, the Beguiled or the Paperboy, we both said. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Paperboy. Yeah. yeah, we said that, yeah. I have, a, I have a hint I can give you that I just, I just thought of because Corey mentioned the invasion. Uh, she was in a, another film with Daniel Craig. Um, and it recently, uh, its source material recently got readapted. Oh yeah, for a, for a big flop. Television. A big flop from two thousand seven. That big, was a a big a is big. Is it a bad flop. hint? I don't know. I, I like. I don't. I don't know it. It was a big movie. I, uh, I think we may be out. Okay. <laughs> okay. So all right. <laughs> A valiant right. effort. The, the movie is. Wait, wait. Because I. Put, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I just, I just, <laughs> well, I yeah. I mean, I know what the movie is, but what? the movie is uh, the Golden Compass. That's that's what I was. That's it's my turn. I was gonna say. It's that. okay, Jordan. Let Jordan say. It. Let Jordan say. It. Oh wait, it's your turn. I thought you were. Yeah, out. yeah. Oh no, shit! No. I'm sorry. Go. Yeah. Well, no, it. that's the only it. one I had. That's yeah, no, 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 no. Jordan's in. You said the Golden it's, Compass. That's fine. Yeah. Sure. There you go, Dan. You Dan's out. I'm out. Oh, so it goes to me. Yeah. I have to think of another movie. Yeah. The real um, operation we got here. <laughs> um, I I 
You're out, dude. You're so yeah. out. I think I'm out. I, I gotta be I'm honest, I'm, I'm tapped as well. Jordan, you got anything? <laughs> what, the 2015 movie that she was, she, we didn't say that yet, right? No, um, we, the, the one she got nominated for, we did not say. Oh, which I just, yeah. Okay, I forgot and then I remember. Another early yeah. Aussie movie <laughs> that, that got her a lot of attention. Hmm. Before Dead Calm and after BMX Bandits. Oh, wow. I, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. That. Yeah. 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 Did we say it? No, we're out, but we have we have one. <laughs> say it. Just say it. Say it. Just say it. Flirting. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Candy Newton wow. and Noah. Um, Push Christmas. Oh, yeah. Oh, at, my mom just came up with one. <laughs> Which one? Is that a thing, even? Australian. She says Bush Christmas. Oh, let me look. Oh, yeah. I can think of every movie that came out in 2015, but not the one she's in. <laughs> so she's not oh, in Mad Max Fury Road. She's not so, in Carol. Wait, wait. So, yeah, Bush Christmas was her first credited role. Good job. I, I feel like oh. I feel like we put the Maltons back in for uh, <laughs> for, for bringing up Bush Christmas. <laughs> all right, I'm out. No, I'm out. I don't know it. I'm out. That's all. So the, Alice. She's the boss. I, the movie you were trying to think of, Jordan. Uh, was Lion. Lion. Oh, Lion. 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 Yeah. Lion, the movie where Dev Patel finds his family through Google Maps. <laughs> That's what that movie is. It's the movie where Nicole Kidman plays a lion. Yes. Right. Of course. Like us, Nicole Kidman lion. is a living lion. People forget. Um, that. It exactly. All right. I guess we'll call that one kind of a draw. Yeah. Did, did we miss any other major movies? Um, Anybody on IMDb? By the end of it, by the end of that, um, we got I mean, a the, lot of them. Um, the gold, one, the Goldfinch, the classic. The Goldfinch is yes. Oh, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Now I'll name a few of them just because it's interesting. Um, she's in Billy Bathgate, if you remember that movie. Yes. She's in, of course, Malice. Right. Uh, pretty, pretty. You know. Oh, wait. No one said Dogville or Margaret the Wedding, right? Oh my god. That's insane. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Um, oh my god. That's horrible. She and other than that though, we got a lot. I mean there she made a ton in the last few years that no one remembers, unfortunately. Like um Secret in Their Eyes remake, The Family right. Fang, Queen of the Desert, Stranger Land, Before I Go to Sleep, Grace of Monaco, The Railway Man. They all came out in like Trespass, right. which was terrible. So we missed wow. a couple. <laughs> but I mean, but all the ones Jordan just said are like for lesser yeah, yeah. known, you know. Yeah. How to um, talk how to talk to girls at parties is a newer one that came yeah. out. Yeah. Anyway. Uh and with that, I think I think we'll call that a wrap. Uh it's a tie game. Myself and the Malton. Uh <laughs> two points. <laughs> um, thanks so much to you guys for being here. We really appreciate it. This was so much fun. Uh once again, tonight we were playing for the Larry Edmonds bookshop in Hollywood. Uh, if you go to cinefallgame.com slash game night live and you pitch in a couple bucks uh, to the fund, uh, just let us know. Uh, send us a screenshot with the hashtag cinephile game night to either at the film stage or uh, at cinephile game, and you'll be entered to win this uh, grand prize pack that we're sort of collecting all season long, which now includes uh, a signed book uh, from the one and only Leonard Malton that he will make it out yeah. to you. Uh, so it's nice. really exciting. Um, and we. We should thank a few people that already donated on Twitter. So Frank and uh, Dan mentioned Nate Washburn also gave a little chipped in. So thank you guys. And thank you. Uh, we'll keep we'll keep tracking. You can anytime this week or anytime throughout the whole Cinephile game. Uh, yeah, pretty much as long era. as this is going. If you just uh, if you see this down the line and send us a screenshot, let us know, and you will be entered to win. Uh, until they let us out of our houses again. Uh, and with that, once again, a huge uh, thank you. It was an honor uh, to play with the Malton tonight. Um, and if you're watching, uh, please tune in uh, on Wednesday where we will be playing with the Blank Check podcast uh, with Griffin and David uh, with special guests uh, Emily Yoshida, uh, David Lowry, director of uh, the forthcoming Green Knight and a Ghost Story, and Alex Ross Perry, uh, uh, director of Listen Up, Fill Up, and uh, Golden Exits, and many other movies. So uh, please do tune in uh, on Wednesday, and uh, thanks so much for watching. Yeah.